It was the best of times, then it was the worst of times. Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens would have been quite relevant if he had lived to tell the tale of two mortgage climax. We will be telling our kids about these times, recalling how we'd wake up, walk to the office in the other room, then back to the bedroom to call it for call it a day. How rates would start the day at a certain level, and by the time that we got back from refilling our coffee, such dramatic change. Perhaps this would be best described our sentiment towards 2022. Since we've experienced falling yields from the highest level set back in October, we've undoubtedly felt a sentiment that perhaps the worst is behind us. This week's unfortunately gave a way to test that headspace. This came in the form of the widening of Bank of Japan's YCC yield curve control policy. What does that mean and why does it impact our market? Well, YCC is an unconventional fiscal strategy like QE, quantitative easing, for us here in the United States. If the Fed said that they would buy $1 trillion in Treasury bonds, to keep rates lower for longer, the YCC approach says that they will buy as many bonds as they needed to keep the price at 101. QE is volume driven, YCC is price driven. The results can be similar. And at the end of the day, it's all about market manipulation for the desired outcome. Now, when BOJ, Bank of Japan, said that they were widening the band range from zero to a plus a quarter percent, that meant that they will let the market price for their yield, like our Fed's fund rate, move higher without interventing to buy government bonds to artificially keep it low. So in turn, this is the rate hawkish move because now the rates can begin moving higher, unlike how it's been for the past decade. It's not a hike but it's essentially behaves like one. So why does this affect us? Well, Japan was one of the largest buyers of US treasuries over the years. When Japan's yield began to rise, the price of their currency does too. So that could begin to happen is the appeal for US treasuries could soften to potentially more lucrative opportunities in the end beginning to rise. Less US treasury buys, equals lower prices for treasuries, which equals low higher interest rates. Know this, this market is a knee jerk monster these days. So allow the information presented paints a bleaker picture. The reality is that it took 10 years for the BOJ to make a quarter percent adjustment to their policy. That could make the runway much longer and the likelihood of continued market pressure for lesser over time. The market has already began taking this news in stride. One data point is C of nonstop information grabbing. Keep calm and carry on full steam ahead. And that is your money chat coming up next on the money hour.